2012. Uh, yeah, we're just getting started here. Uh, <laughs> I was able to sleep a little more. Although I suppose it's going to take me a couple of days to really sort of get through this, but I know there's going to be other long days this week as well because I've got some more projects that I got to sort of ram through the uh, the old uh, grinder. So. Uh, We'll see how long I end up I end up working today. Uh, I'm, I, it looks like it's going to be a minimum of a 14-hour day, but uh, we'll see at the end of the day what it's actually going to be. Uh, doing my usual, uh, scrolling through YouTube. Uh, got Family Channel on, watching. Uh, uh, Sunday with a chance, and then uh, I gotta work on the electronic station. I gotta fix up all the ID, uh, all the different IDs. ID stands for Integrated uh, Developer Environment. Uh, there are a variety of development platforms that I've gotta sort of uh, configure, do the final configuration on that. And once that's, that's done, um, start moving ahead with. Uh, uh, systems development on Linux, so, uh, that's it for about now, uh, I will check back with you later, we're going to do have to, uh, check to see if the editing is done, uh, rendering on the other system, the front room, and if it's done, uh, uh, then, uh, I will be uploading, and you'll be seeing that shortly, and from there, i got to make myself some breakfast, yeah. I'm going to head over to my restaurant. <laughs> Alrighty, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it, it's 3 hours into the day of June 17th, 2012, and we're continuing on in our day. Uh, I was just looking at the part of the video that had gotten cut off from yesterday, describing the undefined nature of my work. Uh, and it's because the entirety of the universe itself is undefined, so as if you're going to go into this open up creation of the universe, then your life as such is going to become undefined as well. Uh, this is where it causes some of the, the problems in that uh, you have to uh, sort of adjust to the lifestyle that is not something that's regular or normal and uh, the way people behave is uh, people to a large extent stay within their own peer group. The, the more unusual your life path is, in other words the, the least, less, least number of people who fall down this type of path uh, result in the number of people you have in your peer group diminishing down to a, 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 a very few my, or a minute number. Like in my case, the number of people who are in my area of study in terms of my peer grouping, these are very few and far between. But uh, when you consider uh, everything in total uh, in terms of where I am, then the peer group opens up, but it opens up. It opens up in a very bizarre manner because 
you wind up going back to childhood because childhood, uh, one, uh, most kids in school are studying, they do projects, and you're studying and doing projects all day long, that's what you do all day, your life, and most kids have no definition, uh, they go into something cold, they play with it, and after playing with it, with it this includes technology and so on and so forth, uh, they come out very good at it. This is how they learn. And this is exactly how the work is done here. There's a lot of playing involved. So my age group, in terms of the peer group, all of a sudden loops all the way back down to the 8 to 14-year-old uh, range. Uh, because uh, after 14, the interest in learning really starts to dro drop off. Uh, and you don't have the excitement and enthusiasm in learning and study the way you did uh, before 14. So, uh, the path uh, and the peer group, peer grouping uh, sort of deviates as you go from 14 on oh, and up. That's when things start to deviate uh, and your the, 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 what defines you in terms of the peer grouping starts to uh, diverge. That means they move away from each other. The interests move away. Uh, so that's kind of where th things are here. Uh, the bizarre thing I found uh, over the last few days, is, uh, well actually, no, not the last few days, just today basically, um, uh, I did. I, I auditioned for this collab channel, and I didn't expect the results. I thought, you know, collab channels, uh, you know, seven epic nerds. All right, just give it a shot. Let's, you know, let's see what can be done. You know, just purely out of interest, and. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, I've had, uh, so far just today, it's been up yeah, since June 16th, since it's been up since 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, on the 16th. So it's been, it's been less than 24 hours, and I've had 153 views. I mean, I, I've never, no video I've ever put out has had that much. Uh, I'm now past the 40 mark in terms of my subscriber, uh, in terms of my subscribers. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, I, I really, you know, I'm, a, I'm happy about this because it really, it, it, it brings more viewers to my channel. Uh, I got more subscribers now. And that's, you know, that's, that's the cool part. I was really happy with that. So in, anyone who has viewed my uh, video, uh, uh, seven Epic Nerds audition. Thank you very much for your views. Thank you for your comments. All of those, anyone who commented with it's negative or positive, uh, <laughs> even some of the dislike, I don't mind. Uh, you know, at least at, at least it's being watched. You know, it is it, a thing. I just, if someone takes the time to watch your video and dislikes it, they've watched the video anyways. So <laughs> it's neither here nor there. You know. So thank you very much, both of you, for likes and dislikes, uh, for your comments, and uh, I, I really am happy with it. Thank you very much. Uh, whether I get in or not, I I, I don't know. Uh, a lot of you are, are 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 very encouraged and think that I will get in, but if I do or don't, it, you know, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, I, this was something fun for me to do, just to have you know. I'm fun, and if I get into the collab, uh, I will, you know, <laughs> I'll be my nerdy self, and uh, I'll have fun in there. So, anyway, uh, I think that might be it for today. Uh, although I might be back sometime around seven o'clock in the morning, seven to seven thirty, to do one last segment. Uh, I'm not really too sure. Uh, uh, I've got some more things to do here, and then uh, I don't know. We'll see. Well, it's uh, 7.12 in the morning, or 7 hours and 12 minutes into the day of June 17th, 2012. Uh, the day continues on. Uh, I'm going to church in a little bit. 
I will explain to you how the church and everything else fits into the research because there are more there there's a lot more stuff coming uh, this is going to be the main point where everything is going to come out of as I explained before and a lot more is coming into this presentation in terms of uh, the research that's coming online, the research institutes, and the work that's being done, and everything will slowly but surely be connected and presented. So uh, you'll be able to sort of see what's going on and how things interconnect. But anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this short because uh, I do have to get 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 ready to go. And uh, yeah. So, we will see you, uh, probably, well, let's see, if I do some, I'm going to bring my camera and see if I can do some vlogging, uh, either at church or at my parents' house afterwards for a Father's Day lunch, uh, so we'll see what ends up happening, and, uh, we'll go from there, all right. It's just at 147, 148. That's uh, 13 hours and 48 minutes into the day. Uh, Sunday, June 17th, 2012. And I'm vlogging in the car. And that's right, vlogging in the car. Uh, still out. Just got finished with church. Uh, it's a little late. Uh, this is an ancient service that goes all the way back to the time of Christ. So, um, given the length of time it can't takes to do that so anyways uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit all right take it easy it is 17 hours and 37 minutes into the day of Sunday June 17th 2012 and this is the last segment of the day and I'm doing this specifically because I need to say a shout out for my dad. Happy Father's Day. I just came from dinner to the house. It was cool. My brother was there. My niece was there. Uh, my sister-in-law with my, with my nieces were there. Uh, it was a good time and I had a good time in church. Alrighty. I'm going to bed now. <laughs> Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.